We came into Congress today with some friends from Europe who came here for the NATO summit. Actually, they came here against the NATO summit to talk about how NATO is a threat to the security of Europe because it keeps the war in Ukraine going, a threat to global security because it now has its tentacles all over the world and that it encourages militarism. So here are some of the discussions we had today. So we have a very international group here. They came here for a, a conference around NATO. Yes. And this is a group that actually thinks that NATO is not helpful for the world peace. We feel that it is an organization that doesn't really work so much for peace, but it's for the militarization of Europe, the United States, Canada, and now out in the Pacific. I live in Hawaii and we're having the rim of the Pacific uh, huge naval exercises in eight NATO countries, North Atlantic countries have their ships in the Pacific. NATO is really preparing wars and big wars. I'm not speaking about the wars which are happening on the world, but we have the danger for a big world war, which either could start in Europe, connected to Ukraine war, or could start in Asia, connected to all the conflicts between China, Taiwan, and South China Sea. And this war will be definitely a nuclear war, and this will destroy the planet. NATO is preparing this war by enlarging the military budget, by developing new weapon structures, new troops, but all the provocation on all sides of the earth and the planet. So we are really in a historically single, difficult and dangerous situation. I'm from Belgium. Uh, we both live in, in Brussels, where the other uh, headquarter is NATO. Is, and we're here just to bring the message that NATO for us is purely a war machine and it's not bringing peace. For the European continent, we can tell that it's only bringing more weapons into the continent and we're here to ask for a ceasefire negotiations as quickly as possible instead of, instead of sending more weapons and the same for Palestine. So I've come all the way from Ontario, Canada to bring a message that the United States leads NATO and the US and NATO put in incredible pressure on my country to increase military spending. We're constantly berated by the US government and representatives here to, to increase military spending and it's depriving uh, Canadians of, of resources that we need for urgent social and environmental problems. We need uh, to be investing in education, healthcare, climate action, resilience, and not in American weapon systems. We don't want to buy your fighter jets. We don't want to buy your attack helicopters. We don't want to buy your guns. We don't want to be participating in U.S. wars anymore with NATO. 